leadership. Today we have gathered in this historic church as people of faith, Christians, Jews, from the Catholics, Protestants, a broad coalition who are deeply concerned about something that will be happening here in the city in two weeks when the Durban Three Conference is convened. The Durban Three ostensibly it targets issues of human rights and racism. Those are important issues, but there is an agenda behind the Durban Three Conference that is a matter of concern to all of us, and we believe, should be a matter of concern to thinking people. Durban II was convened by none less than Muammar Gaddafi, the keynote speaker, Ahmad Abdelmajad. It is a farce. It is a theater of the absurd to think that some of the most egregious violators of human rights on this planet can convene a meeting in this city that exists for no other purpose than to target Israel. We find that hypocritical, and we believe that it is important to pull the mask off of that kind of activity. In the next few moments, you will be hearing people from across a political spectrum and across a religious spectrum who will be speaking to this issue. My name is Khaled Myers, and I'm from the Jerusalem Institute of Justice uh, from Israel. And uh, what I see today is a group of leaders standing behind us, Christians, Jews, and people of other uh, religious persuasion, standing together for Israel. I'm convinced more than ever that we are not alone. This is a very encouraging day for me, and I'm happy that there are uh, people of sanity in this world that stand up to the hypocritical rhetoric coming out of the Human Rights Council of the United Nations against Israel. When the United Nations allows a man like Mahmoud Ahmadinejad to stand up, the leader of the nation, to stand up and openly call for the destruction of another member state in the United Nations, it delegitimizes itself and its mandate to advance human rights throughout the world. When the United Nations Human Rights Council calls the State of Israel, which is the only viable democracy in the Middle East, an apartheid state, when the United Nations Human Rights Council calls Zionism, the movement that was formed to protect the Jewish people from racism, when it calls Zionism racism, it delegitimizes itself as a valid voice for the protection of human rights. It's time to call the United Nations and their committees uh, to account uh, for this nonsense, this double talk, and this hypocritical rhetoric. We are people who appreciate the Judeo-Christian uh, values that we share in Western democracies, and we are standing here today uh, on behalf of Israel and against this discrimination against Israel in the United Nations. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you on uh, September 21st at the Dag Hammarskjöld Plaza. Come out and make your voice be heard. Together, I believe we can really make a difference. Thank you. My name is Baltimore Scott. I'm a member and administrator of Crenshaw Christian Center in New York City. We must realize this. If Durban III proposes a claim that Israel or Israelis are racist, with the absence of any other obvious racist and religious oppressors in the world, we must say no. No. Durban III is a force organized solely to delegitimize the state of Israel, and we must stand against this. I'm Helen Friedman, um, Executive Director of Americans for a Safe Israel, and also a representative from a newly formed umbrella organization, the National Conference on Jewish Affairs. And we have joined together with at least uh, 
dozen organizations in order to talk about Israeli biblical, historic, and legal rights. We know that there is no justification for any giveaway of any Israeli land. There is no justification for a division of Jerusalem. These are absurd demands. It's really shocking that the world has come together against Israel when it is the only democracy in the Middle East. And where all these Arab springs are erupting, they apparently, if they're legitimate, are seeking what Israel has already accomplished. Israel has sprung. Israel is the democracy. Israel is the shining light on the mountain. And I want to say, as a Jew who's been working since childhood for Israel, I am very appreciative to the evangelical Christian community for their support. I recently was in Jerusalem with Glenn Beck and his huge, wonderful effort to support Israel. We stood at the Davidson Center in glorious setting sun and, and announced the wholeness of Jerusalem and the importance of Israel and Jerusalem as the center of everyone's belief. A country, a city that has been open to every religion. And yet, the German three people, the German one, two, three people have the audacity to try to delegitimize Israel. It is amazing that it has gotten any credibility at all. And we are joining, let me tell you that there are many activities planned for September. We have 9-11, we have a second um, demonstration, 3 o'clock, where we will invite clergy, we will invite first responders, we will